Giving Tuesday, as we know, is building a generosity movement that is making giving an everyday part of our lives. So if you could tell us a little bit about what this means to you, um, why you think it's important, what is what role can it play for people? Sure. Well, it's really nice to be here. Um, so I've worked on Giving Tuesday since uh, it was first created, which is uh, eight years ago. So I've seen it grow from a relatively simple and straightforward idea um, of a day of giving following two days of consumption in the United States, Black mm -hmm. Friday and Cyber Monday, to now what is really a global generosity movement. Um, and uh, what it means to me, I guess, is um, it has helped me reframe my own definition of the word generosity, um, which I define as a sort of deeply held universal value. Um, which has many different expressions, and certainly donating to civil society organizations is one of them. Um, there are also many other expressions other than monetary ones. Um, NGOs tend to get very worried when I say that, <laughs> but actually, if you appeal to people's deeper sense of generosity, um, you do end up making more money as well. <laughs> So it's actually a very savvy fundraising move to um, to really make people feel that they have the capacity to make an impact no matter how much or how little money they happen to have. We all have something that we can give generously to make the lives of others better. We have the capacity to do that every day. There's literally no one in the world who doesn't have the ability to do that. Um, so I think what, what Giving Tuesday means to me is the opportunity to spread generosity globally to look at the really interesting systems changes that that might affect. Um, in the meantime, the more immediate capacity for civil society to do what is really an urgent job at a time of crisis, um, and also to erase the divisions between those who have and those who need. That's really good. I want to touch upon something you said, but before that, um, if you... And if you want to talk about what this means to you, this movement. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Asha set, set this conversation up really well. Um, you know, I don't think I would be where I am uh, if it wasn't for the extra uh, ordinary generosity of many people uh, uh, in the early years of my life. Uh, I've, you know, studied on uh, scholarships so all my higher education and that hasn't uh, escaped, uh, escaped me. And so my wife and I have been... Um, you know, givers uh, right from the day we got uh, married and we've tried to increase uh, our giving, uh, you know, in a, uh, in a steady manner ever since. Um, and I think uh, both of us believe that um, what most people lack, uh, and I think Asha again used the word opportunity a lot, mm -hmm. uh, what most people really lack is fundamentally opportunity. And I think uh, what most, what really we could do is if we could use some of what we are blessed with to provide people opportunity, whether that is uh, money or our time, um, I think then the world could be really a very different place. Uh, and this is not just about, uh, you know, changing the lives of others. It's also about changing our own lives. Um, you know, it's about discovering happiness for ourselves. Uh, so I think... Uh, Movements like Giving Tuesday are actually very important. They're deeply symbolic movements because um, you start about, you know, start with doing it on a particular day, um, but then it gets you actually uh, on a journey. Uh, and I think uh, often uh, every journey begins with uh, some very specific steps. So I think it's about beginning that journey.